Hey, Mama, Grandpa, I'm home. Surprise, surprise. Oh, I can just tell you're so excited to see me. Look at this, Giles. It's an apple pie. Sophie brought it over. And I hope you all enjoy eating it just as much as I did baking it. You too, Grandpa. Oh, I just do love old people. They're so twinkly, fun, and wonderful. Yeah. Let me help you with that, Miss Gordon. Oh, call me Dorothy, why don't you? Okay, I'll cut it, Dorothy. You know, Giles is such a dreamboat. Of course, he needs a total makeover, but I'm really gonna turn him into something. What are you doing with that thing, girl? You gonna slice the pie or what? Oh, Father, the pie can wait. Remember you and me have to go cut down that poison ivy and spiny hogweed in the mangrove garden feature? Pardon? You and Sophie enjoy the pie, Giles. We'll have ours later. I want mine now. I ain't going out there without pie. Hey, why? Why don't, why don't we sit down and have some pie right now? Mmm. No, oh, God. Giles? Won't it just be just totally dreamy once we're married? We're what? Married. And together, all the time, forever and ever. With those pretty little bluebirds fluttering around in the roses, and hundreds of fat little babies. Are you kidding? Are you insane or something? Get her out of here. Just get off my back. She'll do. Don't jump out of your pram. Drop the net on her. Get her out of your life. Why well, you still can. What a day. Was there no escape? What was I going to do about Sophie? Uh, at least she'd gone home. Oh no. you alone. Come on, Dad. Time to unblock the drains. Now is the hour. Do it. Tell her. Make her believe. Sophie. Okay, so Sophie, listen to me. Okay, I'm not your boyfriend. <laughs> what are you saying? Then why were you pretending you are? Hmm? But I wasn't pretending. Why are you lying to me? I'm not lying to you. Okay, you're not my girlfriend. I want you to get out of my face. Oh, laddie da You'll feel much better tomorrow, <laughs> dreamboat. I'm not your dreamboat. Oh, I know you don't mean that. Plus, you know your, your apple pie? Mm, well, it tastes like Josh's sweaty sports socks. Okay, why don't you understand? Oh, I do understand, Giles. Of course I understand. Oh, it is good. I, was... I understand completely and utterly. And Mr. Fluffy Muffin. Oh, yes, even Mr. Fluffy Muffin understands too. Whoa, way too freaky for me. I'm out of here. Ever had the feeling you said the wrong thing? Jazz. Jazz. I love you. Giles Gordon, hey, yeah. take this the fluffy muffin to be your lord. <laughs> ah! ah! <laughs> <laughs> Dear sweet Giles, a little present for you, Mr. Fluffy Muffin, a very special bunny. He'll watch over you and keep you safe with lots of itsy bitsy little kisses. That's Sophie. Great, a guardian bunny. But who's going to protect me from Sophie? That crazy girl still hasn't got the message. Hi there, bud. 
No, it's alright, is it? Is it okay? Is it you and me? Watching? So can you control Mr. Fluffy Muffin? He's just an empty fist where you use your voodoo body to spy me, don't you? Game's over, which it's rabbit stew time. What language is it? Ancient Babylonian. Oh yeah, Halle B, you know, modern Babylonian. <laughs> Talents! I, the spirit go-getter dog, have chosen you to be my bride. Obey me, and I will release your grandpa. Defy me, and I will drive your family to the edge of madness. I mean, that shouldn't be too difficult. Silence! Answer me! Or which, I mean, you know, answer would be silent. I can't do both. Answer me! Okay, I'll do anything. I mean, what, what do you mean to do? Well? First, you could start by apologizing to Mr. Fluffy Muffin. <laughs> The deed was done. I traded myself to save Grandpa. Paid the ultimate price. Oh, what a trip! How'd I look on TV? I always wanted to know. Taller? I'd say the camera does that. I'm so... Glad you're back. Oh, I ain't. I was having a ball. And me? My life was over. I was marrying Sophie. And through it all, I could swear Mr. Fluffy Muffin was laughing at me. <laughs>